Hi everyone, I wanted to talk about keeping your skin clear or at least trying to. Um, I'm obviously in my workout gear and no makeup on um, because I wanted to be a little bit real. Uh, in the last month or so I've been kind of experiencing some really fun breakouts and been taking some extra time to cover them in the morning and treat them as well and thought I would I would share some of my tips and tricks for doing that. This winter has been particularly hard because it's been so dry and when your skin is dry it really any of your treatments will dry it out even more it'll go into over production for oil it's just a really bad cycle not good for skin and, and not uh, not easy to get on top of it. So I've dealt with poor skin uh, now for like 22 years. I remember having cystic acne when I was 10. 10. I'm so young. Um, I've been on Accutane twice. I've tried most of the products and ingredients that are out there um, specifically designed to target acne and, and keeping your skin clear. So I have a literally several decades <laughs> of experience in, um, in trying to uh, prevent breakouts and treat them afterwards. So one of your uh, first steps and um, main tenets of your skincare should be cleansing. Um, I'm a huge believer in double cleansing these days. The makeup that I wear, if I cleanse my face once, it's not enough to take things off. So I like to use a makeup remover. Um, Bioderma is my favorite. Uh, the oil cleansers or the balm cleansers I've had a little bit of uh, difficulty and challenges with because of the oil. Sometimes my skin gets clogged easily. So the Bioderma one is great. It's really just any kind of makeup remover to take off that initial layer and then really get to the, the grime and the dirt and the bacteria on your skin. I also use a cleansing brush every single day and I find when I'm religious and dedicated to using this, I notice a difference in my skin because it cleans it really, really well. And that helps um, things uh, get off your skin instead of getting trapped in your pores. So after cleansing, there are a few ingredients or main parts of your skincare routine that I wanted to address. Um, no matter how oily your skin is, you need moisture. You always need moisture, otherwise you're gonna strip the skin of its natural moisture. It's going to try to pump oil out into the pores. It's gonna be really Im imbalanced. And you're probably gonna be dealing with irritation and um, things that are uh, inflamed and, and that's really hard to get to get past. So recently um, I started using some toners that are meant to put moisture back in the skin. This one is by Claire's, their Supple Preparation Facial Toner. It feels as good as it sounds. You just like press it into skin. It's really nice. Um, I also like several, actually lots of products from The Ordinary, but uh, recently they're marine hyaluronics and their plant, plant sorry plant derived squalane the squalane is an oil and it does not break me out and my skin will break out for anything so if you have sensitive skin if you have acne prone skin give the squalane a try it really does sink in well uh, and i would recommend it the marine hyaluronics it's a nice um, morning moisture that doesn't really um, build up under your makeup so don't forget your moisture to help calm skin, bring the moisture back and give it an opportunity to heal. On that note, when you are trying to prevent breakouts and keep your skin clear, it's really important to build in an acid of some kind. Salicylic acid uh, will do this. It helps actually um, break down the glue that's binding um, clogged pores together. And, and clean them out. So salicylic acid is a good one to incorporate into your routine to keep your skin clear if your skin can tolerate it. I have not had the best luck with salicylic acid even though it's touted as one of the best things you can do for acne. My skin responds better to lactic acid and glycolic acid, which uh, Reversa has, Neostrata has, um, and even The Ordinary. Having said that, I've tried the Ordinary 7% Glycolic and wasn't a huge fan of it, so I'm still kind of shopping around for my um, my, my holy grail Glycolic Acid. So um, along with an acid, really consider retinol. Um, retinol can be very harsh on the skin, but it is one of those ingredients that shows up in studies time and time again for being one of the very few 
ingredients proven to reduce wrinkles and keep skin clear. It helps with your scalp, your, sorry, your scalp, your cell turnover, which helps keep your, your pores clear. I really like retinol. My skin does well on it. It can actually withstand a lot for how sensitive it is. It's, it's odd. I've been trying the 0.5% um, retinoid from uh, the ordinary and I'm gonna bump myself up to the 1% or I'll go to a prescription through my doctor. So that's that's a good one. And I should say retin retinol is vitamin A derived and that's the ingredient that's in Accutane. So just a little connection there. Um, so you've got your acids, you have your moisture. Now what to do when you actually break out? I adore the Glam Glow Super Clearing Mud. I have not found anything in all my years that actually takes super inflamed acne down so fast. I use it as an overnight treatment and I try my best to remember to do it on a regular basis. The, ing the instructions say five to 20 minutes. Uh, if your skin is sensitive, go on the low end because this one contains glycolic acid and salicylic as well as some clay to really draw the impurities out of your pores. So if you can remember, <laughs> use this on a regular basis, but it is a really heavy hitter when you get, you know, some super inflamed um, blemishes. It, it uh, really helps calm and clear and, uh, and purge your pores. Another favorite of mine is the Origins Clear Improvement. I'm a big fan of clay masks used overnight. Um, just make sure that your skin can handle it, but I find in the morning that those are the best things versus spot treatments that really help take them down. Another really popular ingredient for keeping pores clear is benzoyl peroxide. It's got a little bit of a bad rap lately because um, it does irritate the skin and studies are finding more ingredients that kind of mimic the, um, the results of benzoyl peroxide without the skin irritation. And one of those happens to be tea tree oil. So if you get a blemish um, and you have tea tree oil, you can apply it. It's called neat to the skin, which is straight. Um, just a few, like put some on your finger and dab it. Obviously not over makeup, but if you're at home, just watching whatever or reading, just keep, keep dabbing on the tea tree oil. I find that that really takes down the inflammation very quickly and the redness as well. Prevention is key in keeping your skin clear for sure. I mentioned acids before, and when you really want to um, make a difference in your skin, not only in the, the clearness and the lack of blemishes, but also in the clarity and the overall tone, are peels. So heavier, heavier acids, heavier concentrations. Um, two of my favorites right now are the Herbivore Brighton and the Juice Beauty, the Full Strength Peel, because I like to just burn my face off. <laughs> and I do, I do well with stronger acids, again, surprisingly. Follow the instructions on these products when you have um, a heavier acid or a higher concentration, just because they know their stuff and they know what skin can typically tolerate. Start with the low range if it gives you a range of minutes to keep things on and then work your way up. But I find with those um, basic features of my skincare regimen, I can count on my skin being a more dependably clear unless something pops up. So your really effective cleansing, keep up your moisture, incorporate an acid and treat. Build in some masks in your routine. I do at least two a week. So maybe a clay mask to pull out the impurities and appeal to um, to encourage my skin cell turnover and really get out that gunk. So those are my tips. Hopefully they help and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.